if you work with uh, uh, sentinel drone team uh, we get contacts with other team uh, team members and then staffs so that the uh, yantra get uh, give us some uh, community for uh, developing some new things we know what pid is like proportional integral derivative that's it that's the knowledge we had about it and also like filters like we we knew there was something like butterworth filter and things like that so where these things were being implemented so that we got to learn from this competition so that actually uh, motivated us like we like we got more interested into electronics like that helps us in our studies or we want to know more about the concepts and all if any student thinks that he knows many things until unless he doesn't implement them in real life it is of no use and eyrc helps us to implement them in real life you face the real situation the real problem so if you want to face the real problem and challenge the real problem and you need a good challenge this is the best place you can go if i see get an error i just go off and uh, work working on another thing but in eantra i can assure that there will be a solution and from that i understand that always if there is a problem there will be a solution that's what the main thing i learned from eantra if you given a problem say i don't know how to do this and i'm not going to do it no discuss with your teammates and at some point there will be a solution for it while in geo referencing the drone we get a blurry image from banana pie cam because of drone is flying and there will be a, a vibration from motors so we figured out uh, like uh, having an uh, gimbal for that or arresting dampering any mechanism for that but then we got a simple thing just uh, using the refer- uh, original image which is a reference image to blur the reference image we just to blur the reference image we get getting the accurate result with it so we should not go with the we should find the where is the problem then only we, we should proceed with the solution if we build a drone uh, the propellers uh, need some loose contact uh, like if we uh, fully tighter the screws the drone gets more vibration and then motor gets heat it may harm the drone and then harm the motors so keep it the uh, propellers gets uh, slightly uh, loose contact with the drone so it may it reduce the vibrations for the image feed and then the drone stabilizing uh, drone while uh, detecting an yellow box i actually kept the control uh, in the callback function the problem is if you keep it in the callback function the ros rate differs from the program and the callback function so uh, that happens to be a problem so what i did was i overhaul the code detecting the yellow box runs it the same rate so you know you'll have consistent movement of the drone without reading documentation just seeing a video for 2 uh, hours 3 hours in a youtube you will not get much idea about the what going back in the uh, programming language so you should definitely see the documentation of the programming language before eantra i just uh, write the program and uh, i just run it but in during eantra i just managed my code was very good which is a professional way i learned the, how to code the, how to create uh, maintain the class and functions I was one of the most inconsistent person. So if I take any task, I'll be uh, active for like five days, and after that I'll forget about it. But after Yantra, I was, you know, regularly checking on uh, Yantra if there was any update on tasks. I kept on regularly doing tasks. So what this uh, did to me was, I also was consistent on other tasks. So it helped me gain more knowledge and also uh, be more productive. before uh, yantra i was like a rock you know uh, with some shape improper shape but yantra is like uh, weather climate when it rains or winds it starts shaping the rock in such a way it becomes uh, better looking you know yantra shaped me as a person it shaped me how uh, i can be consistent in uh, everything at the time of each uh, interviews we already faced the interview in yantra which is a very good technical interviews and general interviews i got actually placed when i represent this uh, project to the recruiters most of the uh, time taken in the interview was by this this project i was able to answer all the questions and i got selected we will get a lot of errors, uh, errors but like never stop trying keep keep on trying until you get the final result a hard work finally pays off without seeing time you should work with the yantra then you can achieve a lot of yantra and after yantra you can see a very good result from your output um, many of the friends may see you, you are working for more than a 10 o'clock 11 o'clock but they go for movies and work out but don't see them you just work with it and you will see a very good output at the end of the your career